tied to stuff. And also, fitness education seminars. Welcome to this edition of Fitness Society. Today, we're going to talk about thoracic rotation. We know the thorax should be mobile. 12 ribs, 84 articulations. We need a lot of thoracic mobility for respiration and for stabilization. And for mobility through gait cycles and throwing, tossing, swinging a baseball bat, physical, like, physical activities like that. There's many different ways to get thoracic rotation. I'm going to show you one modification of actually from the Turkish get up. It's also based on child development. Stabilize one limb, rotate the trunk around a stable limb. Sort of like a crawling pattern that one arm is stable, one arm creates mobility. Okay? Now for clients that have poor bad knees, just put a soft padding underneath their knee, a rolled up mat. For people that have lack of mobility, you can use a yoga block and you can use a higher step for people with less mobility. What we want to do is make sure we centrate the hip joint here, so get the hip joint in a good position, hip, knee, ankle aligned. Hand on the block, knee down, and core activated. What we want to do is drive rotation through the arm, we're going to watch our hand, and then come back down, stabilize. Rotate up, come back down, rotate up, come back down. Just being stable here, this side, this arm is down, is fixating the spine on the left side. The right arm then drives thoracic rotation with reaching up towards the ceiling. Now we're not just going back this direction, make sure the person arcs up towards the ceiling as if they're reaching to touch the ceiling. It stays long through the spine, keeps your core active, and rotates through, through the thoracic spine. Core to stay stabilized so that we create as much mobility through the thorax as possible and not just rotating the whole lower extremity. We'll do a couple more here. So we rotate up towards the ceiling, come back down, rotate up towards the ceiling, come back down, and then we'll repeat on the other side. Normally we would start with some breathing and or ca camel mobilization patterns. We could do some foam roll, trigger point work. You could use baseball, tennis ball to help work out trigger points of the thoracic spine, which will help increase thoracic mobility. And this will actually lead right into better breathing, better posture, and better movement as we take people into pushing and pulling packs. This is Dr. Evan Ostar with Fitness Education Seminars and Fitness Insider. We'll see you next time when we talk about shoulder stabilization.